videos for all you hardcore Halloween fans out there that are just as into DIY Halloween decor as I am. The process of making Halloween props and decor is just as fun as watching people enjoy them. However, what's not as enjoyable is how expensive it can all get. And that's why in this video, I'm going to give you some tips that will save some coin and maybe even save some time. I'm going to share with you five ways that you can save money on your DIY Halloween props and decor. The biggest way that I save money when I make my Halloween props is think about the cost of making a prop versus buying one that's already made. In some cases, you can find a prop for a lot cheaper than it would take for the cost to make your own props. Once you put in all that time and supplies, is it worth spending more to create your own versus buying it? And in some cases it is cheaper to make your own prop versus buying one. And that is something to consider before you start creating your own. Some things to consider in this decision is the amount of time you're going to spend on making your prop, the cost of the supplies that it will take, and how much duration of use you want your prop to have. So when I'm making the decision to make a prop versus buy a prop, I think, do I have the time and am I willing to spend the time to make the prop? What about the cost of supplies, which is cheaper to buy the supplies or to buy the prop? And the duration of use, is it something that is going to be sticking around for a long time or am I just going to use it for one or two years and then never use it again? And all those factors determine what's the cheaper route to go. Should I buy this prop or can I make it for cheaper? Before your next Halloween prop project, think make versus buy. Another way to save money actually happens in the planning stages of your Halloween prop making, and that's to think reusability. Can I use this prop in different situations and year after year? For my Christmas themed Halloween party, I was so excited to create this zombie nutcracker. And my guests absolutely loved it, and it was reasonably cheap to make it. However, I didn't consider something. This was only going to be used one time, and the amount of money and time that I spent on making it doesn't add up to how many times that I actually got to use it or that other people got to use it. I was not thinking about reusability. <laughs> and this snowman prop, although really cool and my guests loved it, is another example about me not thinking about the reusability of a prop. This prop was so specific in theme, I only was able to use it for one year and for one party, and the amount of time and money that I spent on it just wasn't worth it. <laughs> Once I began to think about reusability, I saved a lot of time and money. For example, this gingerbread house served two purposes. I got to use it for two different themes, for my Christmas theme and my fairy tale theme. So after those mistakes were made in past years, I started to think before I make a prop, can I use this again and how can I use it again? Before I began work on this Day of the Dead Skull, I thought, can I reuse it and how can I reuse it? And it turns out, a fresh new coat of paint and it's a Christmas skull. So thinking about reusability before you make your Halloween props can save you a lot of time and money. If you don't think you can reuse it, I suggest you don't make it. Think about making something that you can reuse. Thinking about reusability has really saved me a lot of money. For example, I'm going to take this mermaid prop that I made last year and I'm going to turn it into a corpse or zombie prop for next year. This 
next tip on how to save money I learned way too late in the game and that is buy in bulk. It's cheaper to buy in bulk and I wasn't buying in bulk because I thought wow that's too much money I can't spend that right now but you really save a lot of money in the long run. Now I only buy in bulk. For example ten dollars for that one gallon of glue and the equivalent to that in smaller containers is sixteen dollars. Same for duct tape. I use duct tape all the time. If you buy a three pack it's eighteen dollars but if you buy it by the single roll it's twenty four. Buying in bulk saves you a lot of money. Yes, you might spend a little more up front, but it's going to be worth it. You also save money by buying in bulk because you won't have to be driving back and forth to the store every time you run out of something. This next way to save money, a lot of hardcore Halloween prop makers already know, and that is to think ahead. If you buy your Halloween props or supplies or decor in August, September, or October, you might catch a sale of 20 or 30 percent off. But if you get those November 1st or 2nd sales, you'll get the 50 or 60 percent off. And we that are hardcore Halloween fans know you buy the supplies in November that you plan to use the next year or even two years from now. And that'll save you a lot of money. <laughs> Using recycled materials is also a great way to save money. Using bits of scraps of cardboard or cardboard boxes, things that you already had, goes a long way in saving money for your Halloween props. The more durable, the more professional route to take is to build Halloween props with PVC pipes and cement glue and things like that. But if you're looking to cut corners and you want to make something on the cheap, consider making things out of old cardboard boxes and old scraps of recycled materials. I like to keep a healthy supply of recycled materials around. You never know what you're going to need. I often use tissue paper, cardboard boxes, paper bags, and those cardboard tubes a lot. And these things save me a lot of money. Well, those are five ways that you can save money on making your Halloween props. If you have any ideas, comments, or questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section below.